Hi guys, this is Eric and I'm doing Caesar 5.29 today. Uh, contra ea titurius zero facturos clamitabat, cum maioris manus hostium adjunctim germanis convenicent aut cum aliquid calamitatis in proximis hibernis esset acceptum. So, uh, Titurius is the main subject here, and Klamitabat is the main verb here, and it starts a big indirect statement. Facturo, uh, facturos is the verb depending on the indirect statement, I mean, uh, in the indirect statement, and you can supply an essay here if you want. AR refers to these arguments. And cum is a cum clause. And um, manus here doesn't mean hands, but it means bands. Adjunctis germanis is an ablative absolute, and convenient is the um, main verb in this cum clause. Here is another cum clause, and acid acceptum is the main verb in this cum clause. So, Titurius cried out repeatedly these arguments uh, against him that they would be acting too late when larger bands of enemies with Germans being joined. Uh, had assembled or when any one of the disasters had been accepted in the near winter camps. Brevim consulendi esse occasionem. So here esse is the main verb in this sentence because it's in an indirect in an indirect statement and occasionem is the main subject here. Uh, and consulendi is a gerund and it is dative. The opportunity that the opportunity for consulting was brave, brief. Caesarem arbitrary profectum in Italiam, neque aliter carnutes interficiente tasceti concilium fuisse capturos, neque iburones si ele adesit, tanta contemptio, contemptio Ne nostri ad castra venturos esse. Um, so, so here, Caesarum, uh, Caesarum is the, uh, sorry, so here, uh, arbitrary is the main verb in the bigger depending, uh, on the uh, bigger indirect statement and uh, it starts a smaller indirect statement uh, which has the main verb profectum you can supply an essay here uh, and C uh, here is a, a conditional clause uh, and adesit is the uh, main verb in the conditional clause in this conditional clause, one of the member. Um, and uh, here is the main verb depending on the previous bigger indirect statement. Uh, and as if Venturos is that main verb. Um, so uh, he, that he thought that Caesar had set out into Italy uh if he had been otherwise if he referring to caesar had been near uh, neither the carnutis uh, would have adopted the plan for killing tasketius nor the iburones um, they would come to the camps with so much 
uh, this then for us. Non hostem octarem uh, sedrem spectare. Um, so, so spectare is a main verb here. Remember, it's in an uh, indirect statement. And, um, and you can supply a say here if you want. So, uh, he didn't, did not see. Uh, the the uh, the enemy as an advisor, but as the matter. Uh, the Rhine River, another indirect statement. Another uh, the Rhine River was under. Uh, and a uh, Magno essay Germanis. Dolori ario visti mortem et superioris nostras victorias. Uh, so another indirect statement, and um, an essay is the main verb here. So uh, an ario visti mortem et superioris nostram victoris torias is the main subject here. Uh, that the death of Ariovisti and our earlier victories was of great pain to the Germans. Ardere Galliam tot contumelis ac acceptis sub populi Romani imperium reductum superiori gloria re militaris extincta. So ardere is the main verb here, depending on galliam, galliam, and galliam is the main subject here. Uh, and reductum, you can supply an essay here. So, and also, uh, also superiore gloria, rei militaris extincta is a big ab ablative absolute. Uh, that the gal burnt. Um, sorry. Also, contumely is accept this is an an in, uh, ablative absolute too. Um, the gal burnt with so uh, many insults being received. Uh, uh, had uh, brought had brought back under the Roman under the command of uh, the Roman population um, with the uh, earlier glory of the military matters being destroyed. Postremo quis hoc sibi persuaderit sine sirta re ambio regem ad ius modi considium discendice. So, um, so persuaderit here is actually should be an indicative, but it is uh, the indicative in an interrogative. Um, sentence and uh, in an uh, indirect statement so here it changes to um, subjunctive and quiz is the main subject here and persuade rate starts another small indirect statement uh, with uh, this can this say as the main verb in that smaller indirect statement uh, so finally who Persuaded himself this, that Ambiorigim, Ambiorigim uh, had resorted to a plan of uh, of such a sort without irrefutable proof. So Sirta Ray is an idiom, 
idiom. And uh, suam sententiam in utram ke partem esse tutam. So uh, here it's in an indirect statement, and it's translated as his and suam sentati sententiam is the main subject in this thing here. That uh, his opinion was safe in, in, in either side, on either side. Se nihil esit durius nullo cum periculo ad proximam legionem perventuros. Here is a, a conditional clause in the indirect statement. And uh, so if nothing was more dangerous, uh, you can supply an essay here. Uh, we would arrive. We would arrive uh, to the legion, to the near legion, with no danger. Another conditional clause. Uh, if uh, the all the gal uh, uh, conspired with the Germans. So cum here is not a cum clause, it's translated as with um the uh so uh so you can say their unum you can translate as uh, only it's modifying salutem positam and uh it's in an indirect statement so as is the main verb. Uh, their only safety position was in haste. Cotai quidem atque earum que disentirent considium quem habere exitum. Uh, so quidem is translated as indeed, and um, que is referring to. Aorum and uh, disentirent is the main verb of aorum or que, and um, it's in an indirect statement, so habere is the main verb, depending on the indirect statement, and uh, quem is modifying considium. So, um, indeed. Indeed, the in indeed the plan. Uh, okay, so indeed, what uh, certain difference uh, had uh, uh, so uh, indeed, the uh, the plan of Kauta, what a difference of the plan of Kauta had um, uh, with those who had um, disagree who disagreed. Um, in quo si prisons. Periculum non at certe langinqua obsidione famis esit timenda. So inquo is an idiom and is translated as in which case. Um, certa is an adverb meaning certainly and uh, langinqua obsidione, langinqua modifies obsidione and it's an ablative, and uh, timenda is a gerundive. And okay, so in in which case, and also this is a conditional clause. In which case, if no danger was present, but certainly the fa famines by the long oppression. 
was to be feared.